We bring in Republican Michigan Congressman, member of the House Financial Services Committee, Bill Huizinga. Good to see you, sir, from Grand Rapids, where the rivers hey, thanks, converge. Uh, ben Tracy over <laughs> yeah. at CBS News uh, reporting that the president is expected to announce gun control legislation this week, but the substance of it is a mystery. Uh, what would you be willing to support, if anything? Uh, well, I, as, as, uh, as you indicated, uh, the substance is a mystery. We don't know what's in it. Uh, in fact, I had a uh, conversation with a, with a member of law enforcement this morning at church, and we were talking a little bit about this, and it was interesting hearing my colleague talk about uh, being uh, uh, in favor of an assault weapon ban, but not in favor of a buyback, and it seems to me that seems a little uh, incongruent, okay, so but even this, uh, even this, even this uh, police officer friend of mine was saying, look, uh, who's going who's gonna to go and enforce this uh, if that's the direction they want I've yet to, I've yet so to hear that's any, very had, different than a red flag. I've yet to hear any, any Republican uh, go ahead and say they're going to support uh, any of Mr. O'Rourke's proposals. Uh, but yeah. you didn't answer the question of what you would support out of the White House. If, if you could have the president submit something to Congress that would be meaningful and hopefully protect Americans, what would that bill look like? Well, so I, I'm not sure anybody has exactly that answer as of yet. For me, uh, as I'm looking at it, I want to see how we are going to deal with the mental health side of that. Uh, how are we going to continue to empower uh, friends and family and school administrators? Yeah, but there was like already that there was already a bill that came that out help. of Congress. There was already a bill that came out of the House, uh, sponsored by Democrats, that added mental health to background checks, and a lot of Republicans opposed it, and it doesn't look like it's going to go to the Senate. Is that something that is I, worth supporting? Well, we, we had previously done that with 21st Century Cures, actually. Uh, there, had, there had been a number of those things. So what we saw was, again, uh, a, num a group of issues that some of them were fairly reasonable, others were really overreach, and we're seeing this, uh, as this, this set of bills that have been talked about to have these elements of overreach that I think are going to go nowhere in the Senate. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be hard. I think there, if empowering states to explore uh, red flag laws is something that is, I'll, is I'll realistic, I'll take it is that there's not, there's, I'm I'll not take a federal it, ban. I'll take it as that there's not a list right now that you have ready that you'd be um, willing to support, we will move on to something that's happening well, in Michigan. A, Leland, but it, well, I mean, it's, one, it's a pretty, it's a pretty simple that. question. You either, is, you, it's a pretty simple question. You either yes, say, here's, here's my proposal, or you say, there's nothing that I want to support. You've yeah. had a minute to talk. Well, here, no, no, no. But here's 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 the here's the frustration. Here's the frustration is there's an assumption that nothing has been done in the past, and and uh, I know that's not the well, that's case. A, but that's, and that's a perfectly what legitimate have answer to just say, a vacuum, that's a, sir. So. That's a per, it's a perfectly legitimate answer to say I think the laws that we have on the books are enough. But I didn't hear you say that either. Yeah. Well, I certainly don't. If, if there is additional things, it ought to be incremental, and it needs to be make sure that okay. it adheres to the Constitution because there is a lot in place now. Okay. All right. We'll leave, we'll leave it there. Real quick, I want to get to what's happening in the state of Michigan right now, which is this potential yeah. UAW strike coming up. This from a Detroit reporter for Fox 2 there in Detroit. Spokesman says this impacts 48,000 UAW workers at GM plants across the country. There will be a huge ripple effect, says each auto job impacts seven to nine other jobs in the supply chain. This certainly is the UAW flexing its muscle in a pretty serious way. How does that play in Michigan? Well, certainly uh, what we are very concerned about, what I'm concerned about, whether it's my committee work or, or uh, just coming from Michigan, is economic activity. And uh, this is something that should not be taken lightly by my uh, friends in the UAW. In fact, I have friends and, and, and family members that are members of that. So, so you say, um, say, I you know say that your friends, do you support them striking? internally as well. Do you support the strike? Uh, no, I, th there, is, there, is, there, is, there is actually uh, disagreement among those folks. Right. Uh, here's what I'm hearing, though, is that they are very, very concerned about the, the leadership of the UAW, which some of them are already in jail, yeah, making some, sure that it is not for them, but it's for the members. Yes, right. uh, yes, there's a, there's a massive uh, one going on. But here's what we need to do is pass the, UM, and the USMCA. That will help us that's as we're as we're certainly moving something forward with yeah, automotive. The the, the, re, the redo effective of uh, NAFTA, Congressman. We appreciate uh, you coming on, sir. There's a new barbecue place that's opening up in Grand Rapids, uh, Sparks Barbecue. I suggest you check it out. <laughs> you got it. You All got right. it. We'll, we'll talk do to that. you soon, sir. All right, thanks, Kristen. All right, bye.